When you think of packing games, you typically think of stuff like, oh, I don't know, Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Mario Brothers, but what you should think of is Gate of Thunder. Originally released on October 10th, 1992 to coincide with the Turbo Duo's launch, Gate of Thunder was one of three games, well, technically four games, on a three-in-one pack-in disc. The games included were Gate of Thunder, Bonk's Adventure, Bonk's Revenge, and a fourth hidden one for Bomberman. It's a phenomenal horizontal shooter. One of my all-time favorites. And if you don't really feel like watching this review, just go play the game right now. It's available on the Virtual Console for the Wii, and it is well worth playing. For many people, this was the first game they played on the Turbo Duo because, well, it was a packing game after all, and it really acted like the introduction to the brand new Super CD format. And talk about one hell of an introduction. It starts with a fantastic cutscene and ends with one too, and it's the beginning of a kick ass soundtrack. Seriously, when I first heard this, when I popped it in my Turbo Duo for the first time and I was watching the cutscene and this wicked rocking theme started to play, I was just floored. I'd never heard anything like that before. Now, let's get into the main crux of the game itself. There are seven levels and your ship has three main power-ups. One is a laser beam, the other is a wave beam, and finally an earthquake beam. Now these power-ups can be leveled twice, and you can switch the weapons on the fly at any time, which is extremely useful because, well, you're going to be doing that a lot. You can also get options which can be fired behind you to give you a little bit of protection in the rear. There are also missiles you can get and shields, which allow you to take, you know, one or two extra hits. And to be honest with you, they're really, really necessary because, well, there's a lot of stuff that's going to be coming after you. Now, if you happen to get an extra power-up orb when all your shields are already at full level, you get a very powerful screen-clearing wave that basically starts on the left and works its way to the right, which will save your ass on more than one occasion. Why I say that is because not only are the enemies difficult, and pretty much going to be attacking you from every angle you can possibly imagine, but the stages themselves are continuously evolving. From areas that want to crush you, to sections where the background is coming towards the screen and you have to dodge it, there's also lasers and missiles and everything else you can possibly imagine that the environment or the stages themselves will constantly be throwing at you, so you always have to pay attention, and this is on top of all the incoming enemies that you have to uh, dodge. The Gate of Thunder is an incredibly impressive looking game. The graphics are amazing, the parallax scrolling is phenomenal, the level design and enemies all look just wicked. It's a good thing then that the music is also rocking. I mean rocking. I actually have some of the tracks from this game on my MP3 player. Maybe I'm an Omega loser, but I'm telling you, the soundtrack is just absolutely phenomenal. The game also features some really good boss fights. Now, they're a little bit on the easy side because you do get seven continues with the game. But what's interesting here is that normal mode sort of acts like a trial mode, if you will. You can, you can go through the entire game probably your first time, maybe your second time, with the seven continues. 
but play it on hard or the ludicrously difficult devil mode and that's where the game really shines because there's n virtually no slowdown in this game and that is unbelievably impressive considering all the stuff that's going on. Thankfully the controls are spot on and responsive and tight so you don't really have to worry about dying for no particular reason other than yourself making a really bad mistake. So bottom line, Gate of Thunder is one of the absolute best exclusives and pack-in games ever made and I'm not joking. While the two Bonk games were a nice inclusion and I really love Bomberman, nothing could compare to Gate of Thunder. I had so many friends that were jealous of me actually owning a Turbo Duo back in the day because of just how incredible this game looked, played, and sounded. If you guys have a Wii, I highly, highly recommend you go check out Gate of Thunder right now as it's one of the very best shoot-em-ups ever made and one of my personal favorites.